Hello guys, it's another new day. I thank God for it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, feel welcome. Make this place your home. In my channel, we talk about business, we talk about entrepreneur, and we also showcase different types of business in my channel. So welcome. Remember to subscribe and be part of this family. Remember to, to click that bell just to be able to be getting notification anytime I post my video. So welcome today. And let's do this video with you. So our topic today is all about Airbnb business. So what is this Airbnb business? Airbnb business is a air bed and breakfast business. It's a business that anyone can do, either employed. You can do it as party time. You can do it as full time business. Or you can do it as a side hustle. You can do it at your own free time, depending with yourself, depending with yourself. So this is the kind of business whereby it's an app that is used with people who have rental space to rent and people who want those space to rent them to other people. Airbnb business, it's, a, it's an app. In the play store whereby you can download it get the app and if you're interested in this business you people are connected with people with space with the with people who want to rent the space yes you'll get you'll get many renters they're looking space for a short time period but you we also have those who look for long term period depending on the space that you have you can you can list it either in the short term basis or in the long 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 term basis it can be an apartment or a huge entire home that you can list it in the airbnb web airbnb app and you can start that business so it doesn't matter the kind of space you have so long as you have a good space that is so presentable it's well furnished you're good to go and you, you can take the photos of the place and you can post them at the Airbnb app and you may end up getting clients for your space. For you to start an Airbnb business, I just want to shortlist the requirements that you may need to be able to qualify to be part of this kind of a business. So number one, you need a house. Yeah. So if you're interested, first get a house or a space. It can be your own house, maybe an extra bedroom that you're not using. You can set that bedroom aside, furnish the bedroom well, yes, and you can shortlist that bedroom. Or you can have a house, either your own house, and you're not using the house, you can also still short shortlist it in the Airbnb app. Or maybe you don't have your own house, you don't have an extra room, you can talk with the owner of the houses, those who own apartments, you can talk to, talk to them. If they can agree, they can give you houses or they can give you a house or a space whereby you can use that space, shortlist it in the Airbnb app and you may start getting clients who will be renting your space or who will be renting your house or that apartment. So number two, you need to have, you, you need to sign up. First of all, you need to sign up. You need to have an account with Airbnb. So that is requirement number two. Number one, you have said you need a house. Number two, you need to sign up an account. If you already have an account, just log in and you are good to go. But if you are new and you want to access the, the app, first you need to create your own account. Sign in, register, and be part of the and be part of the A and B business so you open an account with the airbnb app you'll go to the home page and list there your space that house you've got that space you you got that apartment you got list list it at the home page in the airbnb app list it there then you need to give the requirement you need to give the details about that space or about that apartment 
These details about the space may include amenities around, accessibility to the main road or to the road or the means of transport to that location or to that place. Also, if it's a it's a, a home or, or an apartment, you need to tell, you need to indicate there how many rooms are there and also how many people are also there. If it's in, maybe in your house, you may you may need to give details how many people are in your house and about that extra room that you're having in your in your house that you want to list that you are you are you are listing it in the airbnb business number three pricing so when it comes to pricing it will depend up it will depend with the details you have given them the details that you have described about that location or about the space that you are listing that you have listed in the a and b app so the pricing are there the ranges depending with the details that you have already given them for starters it's good it's it's good to choose below the the stated range because you are still new and so far you are not much known your space is not much out there so at least quote the below the suggested price to be able to get more attention from people but as time goes by you may be able to be within the range that has been given there depending on the details that you have shown or described in, in your space number four the calendar so number one requirement i've said you must have a house number two you, you must sign up if you are new if you are if you are not new you just log in number number three the number three pricing pricing it also depends with the description that you have given in the app that's where the, your range will fall number four the calendar so for what duration are you is your space available for for guests or to rent it out so number four it's calendar. in the calendar you have to describe for how long are you are you renting this space? Is it a year? Is it just for one month? Is it for three months? Is it for more than one year? Yeah, so you need to describe your calendar well so that people may know outside there how long is this space free and for how, how many days or how many months they can, they can stay there or they can accommodate themselves in your house or in your, in your space. So the guests will be booking it booking your space they'll be able to know your availability or the availability of that space and for how many days weeks months year or they are going to stay in your in your place yeah number five titles number five titles and summaries when you put their good titles that's the first thing that it it will attract people's attention so your titles matter the way you're putting your titles there make sure they catch somebody's eye they may be able to catch somebody's attention and they'll be interested in knowing more details about your your space so you will get in the space of title you have 35 characters in the space of title you have 35 characters so it's you to coil up a good title that will be unique from other people that title should be very unique. Use that, that 35 characters of words to come up with a good title that will attract people, a good title that may be unique from other titles or from other competitors. Something good, something attractive. A good title that will catch guests' eye or guests' attention. To want to make to make follow up or to want to know more about your house or your your space yes. the title to be good if you can explain what makes your house unique those features describe those good features in your house that makes that house unique that that may want that will make a guest choose your house and not the the other house describe all those features down there that will be able to make guests choose your house over the other houses. Number six, photos. 
you need to make sure you are taking good photos of your space with very good camera that will be able to catch every detail that is so clear, that is so good to an extent that it will be well presented in, your, in the app. You must take good photos of the space, everything that is there, make sure you capture all the, uh, the details in your space, in your house, post them there, that will help to describe, will match the description or the detail that you have given there and also the features. So people will be matching whatever you have written there with the photo, just to match and see if everything they need is, is covered in the, in the room or in the house those unique features in the photos then post them nobody wants to see something that's not of good quality no 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 nobody wants to see photos that they are not clear so get something clear get something good and make sure you capture those unique features in the space that you have that will attract customers there that will attract clients there to be able to rent your space and make sure the first three photos you are posting are the best of all the best of all the first three if you are posting five pictures or ten pictures depending on your space make sure the first three that you are posting they are of the best quality best clear and everything that that shows everything in your house the best of the best photos yeah Number seven, amenities. You should select most appealing amenities that is within the area of the, your space or your house. Those are amenities should be able to attract other users. You should select the most appealing amenities for your listing. Most appealing amenities for your listing so as to capture the attention of the user and the buyers. Yeah. Make sure you, you get the best you capture the best amenities that may get attention of the user or the buyer of your space. So those are seven points or seven requirements that you need first to have at hand before you, you join BNB business or to start a BNB business. Just to go to summarize them. House. Number two, you have to sign up. Number three, pricing. Those are requirements. N number four, photos. We need good photos. N number five, titles. Number six, calendars. Number seven, amenities. Yeah. So that's all I have to, for you today. Thank you very much for watching my video. Remember to subscribe, to like, and share my video. There's a lot coming for now. Bye-bye.